Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release, which is the build 22631.3085 for version 23H2, of course, or the code KB5034204. This build is quite an interesting one because Microsoft is announcing some things that are different to what we knew so far. In this video, of course, we're going to cover everything that there is to this build and what you can expect from Windows 11 in the next few weeks or months. If you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about about different Windows 11 updates for the main release and also for the insider channels, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So first of all, Microsoft is announcing that the new changes for EEA or the European Economic Area that Microsoft has to change in Windows 11 are going to be gradually rolling out to Windows 11 version 23H2 by March 6, 2024. So these are some great news for those of you who are not familiar familiar with these changes that Microsoft has to do in the European economic area. Well, here's a quick reminder. First of all, Microsoft will have to specify very clearly in the system whether or not an app is a system file. Basically, you'll start to see labels inside search, inside the start menu, inside the all apps section, you're going to notice apps that are labeled as system because Microsoft now has to label every app correctly and has to let users know which app is a system app. This is also the case inside the settings app and basically inside the system section if you scroll down you're going to notice the system components page which will have all the system components you can see them categorized here and you can filter them if you want a more in-depth look over them with these changes microsoft will have to let users uninstall any app in windows so apps that you couldn't uninstall so far for example the microsoft edge browser now can be uninstalled in the eea or the european economic area as you'll see on the system if we search for microsoft edge if we I click on it, it won't have the option to uninstall it because this is by default. But once I have the changes rolled out to the system, I will have the uninstall button available and I'll be able to uninstall even the Microsoft Edge browser. So these are some nice changes. I think these are some good news for the Europeans out there. There are also some changes to Microsoft account data and basically now users will be asked if they want to sync all their settings, info and stuff like that on multiple devices and that is possible right now. And also Windows will continue to prompt customers when they're opening content that a new newly installed app registers for so they can easily change their default and this can be done in settings apps and default apps of course. So make sure you are upgraded to Windows 11 version 23H2 and gradually until March 6, 2024, we're going to be getting these new features and these new changes by Microsoft. If you remember at the beginning, I said that these are some things that are different to what we knew so far and basically we thought that in the February update, that big update that we've talked about before, Microsoft will introduce these changes but it seems that these changes are introduced earlier than we thought. Talking about changes and improvements in this build, this update addresses an issue that stops search from working on the short menu for some users. The issue occurs because of a deadlock. Also, this update addresses an issue to make video calls more reliable. This update addresses an issue that causes your device to stop responding. This is intermittent and occurs after you install a print support app. An issue that makes the troubleshooting process fail was also addressed. This occurs when you use the Get Help app. Also, an issue that affects the File Explorer gallery was addressed in this build. Basically, it stops you from closing a tooltip. An issue that affects Bluetooth low energy audio earbuds was addressed. They lose sound when you stream music. And finally, an issue that affects a Bluetooth phone call was addressed. It stops the audio from routing through the PC when you answer the call on your PC. Of course, we're also getting the Windows 11 services stack update with build 22631.3073, which ensures that you have a robust and reliable service and stack so that your devices can receive and install Microsoft updates. There is also one known issue in this build, and that is basically Windows devices using more than one monitor might experience issues with desktop icons moving unexpectedly between monitors or other icon alignment issues when attempting to use Copilot in Windows in preview. So basically, this is all there is to it to the C release for the month of January, basically the feature update that is released monthly by Microsoft in the main release. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Also, for additional information, make sure to check out the article below in the video's description. Those things being said, I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, I wish you all a nice day.